This is David with Best Rest Products, home of a cycle pump tire inflator that has a lifetime warranty. Today we're going to be doing a quick installation of a Google Tech fuel filter in a Husqvarna 701. We're not doing a complete installation uh, because we're not at our studio and so we're having to make do with a cell phone. So I apologize for the quality of the video, not up to our usual standards. The Husky 701 kit comes with a number of components. The most important one, of course, is the filtration bag uh, designed to fit in the rear tank of the 701. In addition to filtering through this bag, which will keep out dirt, rust, and water, you're also going to get an inline fuel filter that you're going to put into your system uh, to provide additional filtering. And you get a piece of fuel hose, you get an adapter, and hose clamps plus additional hose clamps. First we're going to talk about the tanks on this 701. This is a custom setup. This is the stock rear fuel tank, but Chet Mainwaring has put in an auxiliary fuel tank which fits in the front of the bike in the, the front of the gas tank. Uh, we won't talk about this installation today, but we're going to talk about the filtering from the rear tank. Now we can insert a second uh, fuel filter from Google Tech inside this tank. It just takes a different size, uh, another product that you'll need to add to your shopping cart. When the fuel comes from the rear gas tank, it comes down underneath. The fuel line goes up in this fashion and finally comes to the front section right here where it goes into the injector. Difficult to see, poor lighting, I apologize. But what we're going to be doing with this piece of hose is we're going to be inserting the auxiliary fuel filter in line before it ever gets to the fuel injector. And there are hose clamps to do the connections and everything that you'll need for that process. You're going to be placing that inline fuel filter inside the body somewhere back in behind here, perhaps in this area. I'm afraid I can't tell you exactly where to put it. Uh, we don't have time to do that today, but it's something that you can figure it out. And I know that because you're riding a Husky 701. That means that you know what you're doing and you can do mechanical work on the bike. Otherwise, you'd be riding something else. Anyhow, the process for the fuel filter bag is very simple, and I'll show you that in just a moment. The installation of the fuel filter bag on the back of the bike uh, requires a couple things. It's easier if you remove the side panels because you're going to have to remove the tailpiece. And then you want to stick a rag down inside so that when you're removing these three screws, they don't accidentally fall inside. We've already loosened them, but you see the process. Underneath this fitting is a gasket. Set that aside so you don't lose it. And now our fuel filter. We'll roll this up from both sides. And we'll slip it inside so that when it's in the tank, it's sitting like this. And then we would reassemble everything and off we would go. Uh, before we complete it, we would use the install tool to spread the bag out as wide as possible so we get the maximum amount of filtration. But when we did this process and we tested this, we ran into a bit of a hiccup, not something that can't be solved, but with the gas cap that comes on the bike, it's got this green portion right here. And when this is sitting down inside, it won't go into the tank itself. It'll be sitting down in this fashion. But the cap has to go into this to a small amount. So there's actually nesting in this fashion. And what we found is that the sharp edge of this flange prevented the cap from going inside. So being uh, Yankee engineers, 
what we did is we just took a pocket knife and we eased this plastic a wee bit so that we created a bit of a funnel. And when we did it, we did it so any scraps would fall onto the ground, not into the filter. The filter is going to strain them out, but let's, let's start fresh at least. And by doing that, so we got a nice gentle chamfer, now when we go to do our install, these parts will fit together the way that they should. We also noted that when this is in place, the fitting of the gas cap required that you press down firmly so that you get it in place and then turn the key. And you may find that turning the key requires a little bit more force. Don't force anything, don't break anything, but with a little bit of uh, maneuvering, you can get it so that it, it works properly and over time that will loosen up. For those of you that really wanted to, you could take and chamfer this green piece just a little bit with a file so that when it came together, it would go in even easier. So we've inserted the filter itself and we've made sure that it laid across in this fashion so that we maximize the filtering material. We don't want it rolled up tight, we want to spread it out and that's why we use that tool. The neck fits down flush against the filler opening and then we simply take and we insert the cap like this. We've done with that process, now we'll move to putting the inline filter in place and we'll talk about uh, the auxiliary fuel tank up front. Any fuel filter from Googletech will fit in here. We just have to get the proper opening size. We'll have that on the website uh, in a few days. But it would be a simple matter of putting another mesh fabric bag down inside, putting the top on, screwing it down. And now this bike is protected from any contamination caused by rust or dirt or sand or water. Watch the Google Tech introductory video where I show how that works uh, so you fully understand what the process is. This is David with Best Rest Products, home of the cycle pump tire inflator that has a lifetime warranty. We'll see you on the trail.